Hey guys, it's Matt and your boy Kyle, and we are here today to talk to you about the community and all the community tools that go with it that Laser Everything has created for everybody. So if you're someone who's new to the channel or if you're someone who is new to uh, fiber lasers or anything like that and you've just discovered us, welcome. Um, that's one of the biggest things about Laser Everything is we really strive to create a community. A couple of years ago when Alex started the channel with Miranda, they wanted to do something where it was more of a welcoming situation because if you've been in any other fiber laser groups, sometimes um, people may not be the nicest and they expect you to know everything, but how can you right off the bat? And so that's one of the reasons that I joined the Laser Everything group as a member and then turned into a moderator and now I work here. So it's really great people like Kyle and Alex and it's just a really good time. And the other thing too is it makes you feel confident because all of the tools are free and they didn't used to be. One of the goals that Alex had was to get rid of the paywall that was stopping people from having access to those tools. So today we're gonna show you all of the things that Laser Everything has created for the fiber laser community, as well as just the any laser community. So diodes, CO2s, CO2 galvos, UVs, any and all in between. So we're gonna start walking you guys through the website. So if you've never been to lasereverything.net, go ahead and get that open on your computer so you can start clicking along, uh, or you can just watch the video and see all the cool things that you might wanna go find later. So I'm gonna pull open the website and Kyle's gonna start walking us through. So Matt has uh, Vanna Whited the website to us. So uh, we have the community tab on the top left. And the first thing we're gonna see here is a link to the Discord and Facebook groups. We'll cover the Maker Remix later. So the Discord server. So that is just a hot link to our Discord server. So if you've never used Discord before, it gives you an account. You can sign up for an account and then you can link to different community servers. We have a server for the community. It's an open community, anybody can join it. It's not a paid server or anything like that. It's a free resource for anyone to pop into. Just like any other community, we have rules that you have to follow. Be nice to everybody. You're welcome to ask questions. Don't harass people. The rules are all there, so I'm not gonna go through them, but it gives you a place to ask questions openly to the community if you don't have an outlet for that already. Uh, and even if you do, as Matt mentioned, we go out of our way to make sure it's a welcoming community. We don't want anybody to feel afraid to ask a question that they don't know the answer to. Nobody starts as a pro. And with the lasering world, there is so much information, it's impossible to be a pro at everything. So you just gotta work up to it on every little topic as you start to grow into what you wanna do with your laser. We have fiber section, and Matt is showing us the, the thread section for fiber now, and that leads us directly into uh, the topic of asking questions. So if you have a, a very specific issue or even a non-specific issue and you don't know where to start with troubleshooting, this is a great place to look, at least if you have a fiber laser that you're troubleshooting or you're trying to identify a problem with, or if you're looking to improve a marker, anything like that. You can start a conversation that is specific about your issue and you can get feedback right on your thread from the community, from the mods, from us on staff, everyone. So that's the benefit is it's like a hive mind. Everyone can work together to help everyone be better. And that's the best part. Well, and going on top of that, it's not just for asking questions, which is really helpful. So if you're someone who just got a fiber laser or, um, and that's the other thing too, it's not just fiber lasers, it's CO2 gantries and galvos, UV lasers, which most likely gonna be galvo, um, the diode lasers uh, and the software, also in miscellaneous, we have people who ask about questions. How do I find resources? How do I get materials? Starting a business, resources yeah. about business development. Wholesalers, all kinds of stuff. So like how to power a 110 AC air pump, you know, all kinds of interesting things. But what's really nice about this is not only can you come here for the information, but this is where you can come and make friends. <laughs> so you can come here for the questions, but let's say like one of the questions I just saw was about fiber safety questions. That's really important and you should probably put that over here so that you can see those answers clearly versus when you log in having Gary the snail burp in your face. Right? But what's really nice is you can see the green is our support staff, Ace Master, Jack in the Shop, Jack in the Shop, Ramontez, which is Anthony Montez, he's a diode master. Jack in the shop, oh my God, he has every tool under the sun, I swear. 
he does everything from like CNC plasma to, I mean, everything. Yeah, and he makes some amazing stuff. He has a, a CNC plasma, a CNC wood, and he takes all of those things and puts them together to make some really amazing projects. And then we have Ace Master, who is a fiber MOPA color master. I mean, he's got all kinds of crazy stuff. And there's some people too who aren't even online right now, but the Lightburn team is here. So what's really cool is if you tag some of the people in Lightburn, they might be able to even answer specific questions about the programs as well as our trusted members. And so the last time I checked, it was somewhere about 3000 people who were on at any given time. So or more than that, just to yeah. know, this isn't Lightburn dedicated support group. It's not guaranteed that they can help you here. So if it's something specific about Lightburn, you may still be better off contacting them directly through their regular support channels. But yeah. sometimes they, in their spare time, are able to help out here. And some of them are nice enough to jump in. And one last thing is here is where you can find the new live stream links. So anytime we have a new live stream on Tuesday nights, you'll see it here. We've got our newest videos coming out. Like Boyce recently has made some really cool A to Z projects uh, beginning to end, and they're great. The podcast when they drop, uh, and also if you're looking for new arrivals, like if you're looking for your friends to invite them to see if they made it here. So lots of really cool stuff to be looking at here and definitely take a look when you can. Absolutely. And we do also have our hot topic section. So you got everything from tumblers, coins, photos. That's where random chat is. 3D grayscale engraving, show and tell. So if you're just looking for something that's really popular right now, that is a great place. And also we have random chat and everything in there too. And we also have voice chats. So if it's easier to talk through an issue with somebody, we have places to do that as well. So we try and help provide a great community and a place where people can feel comfortable to hop in to a conversation with each other and help each other out. And we hope that people pay that forward to help out other people as well. So moving back here, we have the Facebook group. So the Facebook group, very similar to the Discord group, is another way of getting support, asking questions, getting feedback, anything like that. And it can be anything from operating your fiber laser, UV laser, diode laser, where to find resources, where to get wholesale deals on project materials that you're looking for to sell, anything like that. And the best part is, is Facebook actually has a thread system kind of built in. When you make a post, people can reply directly to your post. So in that way, it's very similar to the Discord thread system that's in place. Facebook's obviously been around for forever compared to Discord, but people also share all their awesome projects. So you get to see other people's projects, ask questions about them, ask for feedback on your projects, anything as you go. Everything I said about Discord is all valid here as well. Yep. So definitely jump in. And the other thing that I would add to that is, again, the community aspect is really big. We make sure that it's a place where you can feel secure asking new beginner level questions. So definitely make sure that you're aware of that, you know, jump in and you don't have to worry about the same kind of fears you have in other groups. So that's one of my favorite things about it. So definitely come see yeah. us. Say hi. Boop. Yeah, we don't we don't tolerate anybody being rude to other people anything like that. That stuff strictly doesn't have a place in our communities and we all try and keep everything as positive as possible. So everything to keep everyone in a positive place. Um, I'm going to mention the material safety lookup because it's one of those things where you as a community member, not only do we care about you um, having a place to learn, when you go to burn something and you burn to learn, you got to make sure that you know what you're doing doesn't hurt you. <laughs> So yeah. as people, and that's again, because if you're someone who just bought your first $200 diode and you're really excited and you're like, I'll be able to cut vinyl so much faster than my Cricut. Whoa, no, uh, because Don't that's bad. <laughs> so um, there is a material safety lookup page that's been created. And it's one of those things where you will go online and see all kinds of really cool projects that people make, like cutting records into putting dates and names and places in them. Don't do it. Um, when you you know, there's just so many things that you can do. Um, so that's a really quick, cool thing to make sure that our community is safe because your safety and health matters to us because you can't laser everything if you're dead. This is something that we are actively adding to as well. So as people in the community ask questions about specific materials they're not familiar with, as we come across them and we identify them as potentially not 
safe, we do our best to throw them up there to get that out to everybody. All right, the next thing we got is the project database. So this is really cool. So the project database is literally things that our makers from our community have put together and are willing to just share for free, which is amazing. You know, that's the kind of spirit that we're trying to imbibe in our community is to, to share. So what's really cool is we got the dog tag fixture, 4X STL. And so you can come over here and these files are free. You can come and grab them right now. So if you're someone who has a 3D printer and you make dog tags often enough, you can print that out. It'll make your job so much easier. We've got files and things that teach you tools and utilities like frequency versus line space. We have the laser business easy CAD settings log. So if you're someone who hasn't made the jump yet to light burn, we've got some interesting stuff here for you. Uh, laser everything put here. And what's really nice about this, so let me show you this real quick. When you submit a project, like if you wanted to be someone who submits a project, you would click on this. So when you click on that, it takes you to this page, which is the submit a project page. And that's where you're gonna put your project title, your name, and when you click on this, is it a complete project, graphics and artwork? Um, and then you can actually drop the file here. So maybe this is a jig and a fixture that you made and the material is acrylic and it's for your fiber laser. So it's something that you made to make something easier to do for people. So that's where you're gonna share it and you click the terms of use that basically says by uploading this, I know that people are gonna be downloading this for free and it's really cool. So the fact that people have done this and they've been willing to create these things and then share that out of the kindness of their heart is great. So take a look when you get a chance, all kinds of really neat stuff here. Absolutely. And next up under resources, we have the download section. We have everything in the download section for software, manual, spec sheets, reference material. Reference material, we have things for your lenses, things like that. And as you can see, Matt pulled up the list. If we go back up to resources and check out the software tab again, and you'll see we have EasyCAD 2, EasyCAD 3, a bunch of different versions. So if you're having issues with your copy of EasyCAD, if it detonated on itself, if you need it to troubleshoot or set up a core file, anything like that, you have some reference software for that. And if we scroll down, I just wanna point out a very important piece of software that one of our community members wrote and shared with everyone for free. Shark, uh, David, he's also in the Discord group, he is a moderator as well, has shared this with everyone. It is a converter for doing conversions for settings. So if you have a parameter library that works with one lens and you want it to work with another lens, for example, or a different wattage laser, if you picked up a second one to travel with, you can make that conversion. It will get you into the ballpark. You'll still have to do some testing. You're always gonna have to do some testing to validate settings, but it's going to get you way closer, way faster. And it's a very important piece of software. And thank you, David, for sharing that. You guys, if you get use out of this, buy this man a coffee. Uh, if you'll see that support a creator button, buy that man a coffee. He deserves it and he's put a lot of time into that software. And what's really cool too, is something that people don't think about or know about is the EasyCAD 2 Community Edition is actually one where you can, if you've ever used EasyCAD, you know that you can't use it offline like where your laser is not active. But with the Community Edition, you can actually work offline. So if that is something where you haven't made the jump yet to light burn, number one, make the jump. Number two, if you haven't or just really don't want to because all your files are ready for that, you now can work offline and not be not have to be attached to your laser, which is really cool. And if you are stuck on EasyCAD 2, we actually have a guide on the channel now for converting your files so you can use them with other software like Lightburn. Mm. So check that out and get off EasyCAD. All right, let's move on to the community parameter libraries. <sighs> So in the free settings section, what? you'll see there's a section for fiber, CO2, and UV. Let's jump into fiber and give everybody an example. Boom. So 54 settings have jumped in here since we launched the library for the community. And these are all settings that people have identified on their laser as a result that they wanted, a result they were going for, validated it, and they uploaded all that information in order to our website. And what that allows you to do is, it allows you to confirm and compare the lens that they were using, the source that they were using. It gives you multiple methods of searching that information, the model, the source brand, everything like that. And you can get exact matches for your source and your lens setup to get as close as possible to reduce fine tuning. You may still have to fine tune since every piece of hardware is going to be just a little bit different. 
Right. But this will get you very close very quickly. And that's what's really cool too, is in case you're not sure, so acrylic marking, what does that look like on a fiber laser, right? So Hamada on a Rakus, and that's really sweet. So I know that if I've got a Rakus, this will work. So 50 watts on acrylic. This is what's the, the really cool thing is to me is, oh, he was talking about black acrylic and it's gonna look this white. Oh my God, that's awesome. So one of the things that we made sure to put in there is you need to have like a, a nice quality photo. Um, so there have been a few that have been turned down. So these are moderated. When you submit something, Kyle, Alex, or myself usually gets a notification that says, hey, someone has tried to upload these. So it keeps, it gets rid of all the superfluous ones, like all the ones that are just kind of, maybe somebody was trying to be funny or silly and it keeps it legit. So what's really cool is if you see it here, it's something that has worked on their machine and could easily work on yours with a slight modification and some testing. Alex even went and made the walnut outline and the walnut fill. So that's one of those things where a fiber laser did do this which is pretty cool looking. So the fact he was able to get that uh, that sharp, pretty sweet. Those are actually settings that were generated from an LMA testing session, from one of our live testing lasered sessions. Yeah, I so. think that started with Vinny. Uh, so <laughs> Vinny Nobucks had something that he started with and then they used the converter to, to knock that out. So yep. it's pretty cool. Yeah, long story short, we have this for fiber, UV and CO2 and diode in the future. And what this allows you to do is not only use it as a reference material, but if you want to help out the community, you want to help it grow, you want to help your friends succeed. If you just want to give them a reference so that they have something to test against, you can upload your known good settings there as well. It's free to everyone. And yeah, community forward. Speaking of community forward, this is one of the things that is most popular on the website, especially now. So this is what the Laser Master Academy for the longest time had behind a paywall and Alex hated having it. So this year he got rid of it. And so he did that. Um, this is where you can click on the free starter settings packs. And when you click on this, it's going to take you to the download page, which is the free starter laser settings pack. And it says these free files, along with all the other free learning materials, downloads and resources are on our website and it's all because of our 3,000 subscribers at the LMA. So if you wanted to support anything and everything that you're seeing here, the best way to do that is to join the Laser Master Academy. Um, it's $8 a month, or you can join for $25 a month if you wanna be like one of our top level supporters. And you can also join annually for $90 a year. And you don't have to pay for these, but it's just one of those things that helps support to create that, the ability for us to create the community that, we're, that we've are that we been able to do so far. All Take the it. tools, all of the communities, all of the staff, everything that goes into managing everything and all of the educational content is supported by our LMA supporters. Yeah, so thank you so much guys. For making what we do possible. And so when you get to the free laser settings page, one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is an explanation of that. So we thank our subscribers and also a chance to register. But if you didn't want to do that, we understand. And maybe you wanted to try that out first. That's one of those things where you will get the free fiber laser parameter library and then being able to actually take those and implement them on your machine. The best way to get help, in my opinion, is with Discord and the Facebook community and especially Laser Master Academy. So the good news is you can still learn uh, at your own pace and for free because of everything that our supporters have done. So thank you guys so much. So with all these tools and everything that we've kind of made available on the website, we like to see them as, as not just resources, but tools uh, and accessible information, kind of like going to your public library, right? We want it available to everyone. And again, running the website isn't free. Supporting everyone takes time. Uh, creating tools takes time and money. And we wouldn't be able to dedicate our team to doing all these things if we didn't have your support. So thank you so much for that. We appreciate you guys watching. And if you do support us through the LMA, thank you as well. So from me and Kyle and everybody at Laser Everything, thank you guys for all your support and we'll see you in the next one.